It's been 45 days since a road rage shooting claimed the life of an Everett woman. Investigators are still looking for the shooter. King Fires Madison Wayne joins us live in the newsroom with a story of searching for justice while these road rage shootings have continued to make headlines. Madison. Yes, yeah, Steve, since the shooting death of Raylan Davis in October, there have been two children wounded in road rage shootings. And then just yesterday, a man driving from West Seattle to I-5 was shot on the freeway. The statistics behind this type of crime indicate it's a growing crime, leaving families searching for answers. On Saturday, October 15th, Raylan Davis was heading home to Everett from Leavenworth after doing some Christmas shopping. She called her mom to check in, but she never made it home. Davis was killed in a road rage shooting on Highway 2, about a mile west of Stevens Pass near Milepost 63. Yeah, it's been 45 days and there's no leads, there's nothing, you know, so it, it I don't know. How has it been for you? Unsettling. Raylan's Aunt Carlin and mom Stephanie are searching for answers. We don't even know what we're looking for. Raylan's family is not alone. According to Washington State Patrol data, King and Pierce County has seen an increase in road rage shootings over the past five years. Pierce County has already exceeded 2021's numbers with 279 road rage shootings. Earlier this month, nine-year-old Isaiah Johns was shot in a road rage incident in Renton. He recently went home from the hospital. No one has been arrested in his case. On November 25th, an 11 year old boy was shot in a road rage incident in Tacoma. The suspect in this case made his first court appearance on Wednesday. And this week, West Seattle Bridge, eastbound the South Columbian Way. Person shot in the vehicle. On November 29th, a man was shot while driving in a car from West Seattle to I 5. Seattle police say they're looking for a silver or gray vehicle, but right now aren't calling it a case of road rage. Raylan's family says these shootings are troubling. I just wish people would slow down and just care a little more. While the holiday season is underway, Raylan's aunt and mom hope for justice. The fact that nobody knows anything, it just seems so unfair during this, this time. This is our first holiday without her. Thanksgiving was oof, rough. And this Saturday, Raylan's family is holding a funeral for her. They are hoping that someone can come forward with information to help investigators make an arrest. If you know anything about this, you're urged to contact the Washington State Patrol.